Well, I'm not going to lie. Since the last time I saw you guys, it has started going downhill. But at least we're still in the German Cup. Hello guys and welcome back to the fourth episode of Replicating Ranieri with Freiburg where today I really went into that intro with a lot of vim and vigour, I'm very proud of that one but we are playing in the Bundesliga against Schalke and then Cologne hopefully we do well, hopefully we do a little bit better than we have done thus far since last time out we're still down in 11th place on 15 points, only a, only a good 14 points away from the top spot yeah I think we can write this season off as a, a wee hiccup in an otherwise very successful series. But you know what, we're going to try and push on. And there was a little silver lining in this whole grey area, and that was a little draw at home to Bayern Munich. So not the worst result ever, but obviously I would have liked to have gotten at least uh, three points from four games. So yeah, can't exactly try and gloss that one over, but we're going to try and gloss it over by winning this game. And this is the team that I've picked for it. We're bringing Traore in. He's finally back from injury. He's played a couple of times, not done anything. But he's only come off the bench and I feel like he's ready to start a game. See what he can bring to the table and uh, go with that. We were moving to a three at the back, uh, a five at the back formation, sorry. But we decided to move back to this one as it seems to be working a little bit better. Nothing really happened when we moved to uh, five at the back. Well, nothing positive at least. Uh, so we have moved back to the system that we know works and uh, works moderately successfully. I mean, this season has kind of made me realise maybe it's not as bulletproof as I thought it was. But either way, we're going to jump straight into it and we're going to hopefully not say either way for the rest of this episode. Schalke are a very good sign. Side, not sign, side, you know, not a... The, you know, billboard, their football team. That was a terrible joke. I can only apologise for that one. Uh, but they are quite low on the table this season, and it makes me think that maybe we can come away with a good result. And that chance very early on does back that up just a wee bit. Where are they in the table? They're all the way down in 11th place, I think that was. And I think that we had moved up because we're, you know, making the assumption that we'll get a point from this game. But I think we've just given away a penalty. And gosh, we've given away so many penalties this season. It's actually ridiculous. Our goalkeeper saved the last one that was taken, but can't do it again. And we really do need to sort that out. I'm not even on, like, dive in or anything like that. I think it's get stuck in as the command. But he goes the wrong way. No chance. Really good penalty. But oh, that's so annoying. They, I think they were down lower than us. Yeah, so if you take away three points... Oh, no, they're higher than us. Don't stress. We're still worse than sides like this. Um... But we have been giving away a lot of penalties, and I don't know, it's just, I don't understand it. We haven't given away this many penalties with other sides, and we've been using the exact same tactic. So I'm very confused by it, but, you know, overall this season hasn't gone well. So I guess maybe it's just not working anymore, for the, probably just for the team that we're using at the moment why are we so zoomed out there I, I don't think i did that we managed to score though it was the zooming in that fixed it they were like oh he's not very focused on this game he's zoomed out far too much as soon as i zoom in they're like okay i feel like he cares he wants a good result let's give him it uh <laughs> task and does a pretty good shot from relatively far out so not a bad opportunity for us and uh coolly taken by a very good young prospect who did get a red card in the game against Bayern Munich. Not what we want to see, but, I mean, it was two yellows. It was very early on. It was very annoying, but we still came away with all one point. You know, that's all you can really ask for against Bayern Munich, to be completely honest with you guys. And that's the first goal that was scored for two games. So maybe this is showing that we might be going back onto an upwards incline. Well, were we ever really on an upwards incline? Mm. Don't think so, I'm not going to lie we, <laughs> we haven't been good very much this season To be completely honest with you guys it's, it's been quite up and down, up and down But we're hoping to start skyrocketing up And, you know, we could still definitely challenge a European football If we get back on track soon But I'm not going to lie to you guys The title challenge is fizzling out by the day And 
and might have already fizzled out to be completely honest. We're going to make our first substitution, it is going to be, again, didn't think this one through, maybe Rolf, he can come on, see if he can do anything, he's not that good as a box to box midfielder, but sometimes he pops up and does okay. Oh, screw it, I want to play this guy, I, lo I just love him, He's like, he, he feels like my son, even though in real life he's, you know, not that many years younger than me, but uh, in this game, he's a 16 year old boy, he feels like, you know, a real star in the future, and I want to give him that match experience, but if Suarez is going to score like this, it doesn't matter who, I, who else I've got on the pitch, Ben Pearson comes up with an assist and almost redeems himself for giving away a penalty early on, nice ball, and uh, of course Suarez, from an onside position, which is what we like to see, manages to dribble past one, and take it slightly around the goalkeeper, well, not even slightly around the goalkeeper, he took one touch that confused the goalkeeper enough to let him slide it in between his legs, and uh, put us 2-1 up on the scoreline, and we could be adding to it now, as we are in the right position, Jao Cancelo looking for a ball into the middle, can't find it, but we're still on the ball, Pearson whips a good ball in, and Tuscan just heads it over the bar. I imagine that was a header. Again, can't tell because it's 2D. But, you know, you, that's what you got to deal with when you have a laptop as bad as mine. And so I quite like 2D. I, I always say that. I always roast 2D and then immediate after, immediately afterwards say, I quite like 2D. It's not bad. I thought I'd hate it a lot more than I am. But when it comes up with results like this, I'm not going to complain. Four minutes of additional time. Can we hold on? I was going to say, I'm sure we can, but now I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, it's offside. Thank goodness, but I think that might be a sign that we need to go a little bit more defensive uh, for the last few minutes, and we're going to go straight into a defensive mentality. Didn't actually take a look at that. Didn't look offside to me. If someone could pause that and let me know down in the comments if that was offside or not, it would be great. That's the only thing I do hate about uh, 2D. When you get the offside calls, they're miles away. You can't see anything. It's so frustrating. But you know what isn't frustrating? Winning 2-1 at home against Schalke. And uh, moving up the table into 10th place. We're really moving up in the world, aren't we, guys? Above Eintracht Frankfurt, above Schalke, and into the top half of this. Oh, it's not the top half. There's only 18 teams. For goodness sake. <laughs> Actually, I just realised that I would consider... You know, 8th place a pretty good finish. That's only just top half. Gosh, it's easy to do well in the Bundesliga, isn't it? It's actually not. Oh, no it is. I've proven time and time again that it is quite easy to do well in this league. But either way, just let me have that one. Either way, we are going to move on to the next game. And that will be away from home against Cologne, where hopefully we can keep going. And turn our one game win streak into two. You know what? I'm feeling optimistic for this game. They have lost four out of their last five games, despite the fact that I think they're above us on the table, are they? Let's take a look down here in this tiny, tiny table. No, they're, they're way below us on the table. We might be able to win this. Imagine if we got six points in an episode. For Freiburg, it's absolutely unheard of. This is the squad that we're going with. Probably going to bring my son on at some point. Don't know my son's name, but, you know... That's what we're going to call him now. He's my son. Tom. I like him. Let's jump straight into it. Hopefully we can come away with six points from this episode. I mean, I doubt it, but I mean, it would be nice. So, football manager, could you maybe do that for us? I know it's actually up to me. I know that if I ask football manager, it doesn't actually do anything. We're not that dumb. Well, I have been known to do stuff as dumb as that. Playing with three strikers, very interesting. Hopefully doesn't mean three times the amount of goals that we will get considering we only have one striker that's not typically how it works now is it in football they used to have a bunch of attackers didn't they they used to play like seven two one that no i don't think that that was quite the formations but you know it was it was you know very attack heavy so i think they're taking a leaf out of that book no there over there sorry my bad forgot that we were away from home straight off the bat they did have an opportunity didn't talk about it because i was too busy rambling on about something completely irrelevant as i do on a daily basis <laughs> they're coming back at us again and i'm actually going to talk about this opportunity passing it around the back moving it upfield really one of our players should be able to get to that but now they've got plenty of space out on that left hand side where Cancelo is is absolutely beyond me but oh, they're letting them dribble all the way around them. 
but luckily the shot goes well wide of the mark and we need to demand more from the team. Poor performance to start off with, but you know what, you, you guys know that we've been known to come away with some pretty undeserved wins in this series. So if that could happen today, I wouldn't mind at all. Okay, th that's the second time they've hit the woodwork. I'm a little bit stressed. I'm already thinking about a tactical change. And you know what, it's going to come. Positive mentality. And it hasn't happened just yet, but we do score. But I think he was offside. Adama Traore scores his first goal for Freiburg, but he was offside. And... We're in 2D, so it's impossible to see. I've zoomed in. Oh my, oh my, oh. Don't know about that, to be honest. I think it was offside. You can't see it. You just can't see it. You need a magnifying glass to actually see the lines and where the players are in relation to that. Oh, it's confusing. Adama Traore, the goal scorer that didn't count, trying to go in for a goal, but shoots it straight at the goalkeeper. Don't even know why that was a chance. I've still got Timo Horn. He was meant to be really good. He's 34 years old. Gosh, he was loyal to them. That's good of him. He went down with them in real life, so that does show some serious loyalty. He's probably the captain. If he isn't the captain, that's pretty disrespectful to him, in my opinion. We have the ball collected from a poor free kick from them. There's space out here. Play it out here. Out left. No, they, they wasted the opportunity. Suarez on the ball, though. He's not going to waste his opportunity. as goes. No, that was a wasted opportunity. Terrible stuff. Horn with an easy save. I really want to know if he's the captain now. How do you check that? I really do want to know. He deserves to be the captain. Is he the captain? Can you, you, I don't think there's a way you can check. That's dumb. Hashtag get captaincy in FM21. Now, let's get that trending on Twitter. No, let's not get that trending on Twitter. If there's one thing that I want to do and uh, want to be known for as a legacy, it's not hashtag get captaincy in FM21. That's also just too long of a hashtag. Who's going to have the time to hashtag that out? On Twitter, you can't write that many letters. That's a lot of wetter. Wetters? That's a lot of... Uh, yeah, wetter is actually a bug in New Zealand. But that's besides the point. Uh, that's a lot of letters to be spelling out in... Uh, I can't even continue with my joke. I'm so disappointed. What was that, goalkeeper? I feel like that went straight past him. Is this another one where I'm going to get mad at the goalkeeper? Adama Traore really should be tackling that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I just don't know what else to say. Wow. That was even worse than the other goalkeeper. Wow. That was really bad. Like, really, really, really bad. Maybe we should stop playing with sweeper keepers. Suarez can't, Suarez, Suarez can't even save us there. Normally I'd be disappointed and he'd go on the other end and be like, don't you worry boss, I've got this. Oh, I'll, I'll cheer you up. He couldn't even cheer me up that time. Horn, the loyal man, is standing in the way. Our goalkeepers need to take notes off him. Maybe if we change them to number 15, which by the way is a weird number to have for a goalkeeper. Not happy about any of this. The situation is not fair. <laughs> they're coming, when well, they're not coming at it us we're coming at them hopefully we can create a goal and we do have an opportunity here as a oh my god there was a gap there was a whole gap here and you just didn't move into it oh and then he kicks it straight at horn is that better not be the end of the chance we better collect the ball back after this this better not be an opportunity for them there was a huge gap of dharma Traore. for goodness sake oh my gosh and now they're in on goal oh now now one on one oh it, oh my gosh oh my goodness how you score on that angle is beyond me. That is like, it's geometrically not, not possible. Oh my goodness. Terrible stop. Oh my god. This is such a bad team. We're going to move the goalkeeper on to, oh, I can't play with sweeper keepers with this side anymore. I just can't do it. They just suck. They all suck so much. We're bringing on my son. And actually, I feel justified for doing it because Adama Traore ruined that chance and created them to go on the other end and score. We're going to also bring off Suarez despite the fact that he's the only good thing in this team in general. Sorry to everyone else, apart from my son. Yeah, I love you, don't worry. Yeah, I got you, mate. I'll give you appearances no matter how badly we're doing. Actually, probably the worse we're playing, the more likely you are to make appearances. But... With 10 minutes ago, I really did feel like we were going to be able to come away with 6 points from this episode. I would have taken 4. 
three. Yeah, I still would have taken that, but uh, it's it's less impressive now, isn't it? Can we have one more opportunity? Yes, we can. To uh, to, to, uh, to uh, how do you say that? Taskin. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I couldn't read for a minute there. Pose it out to my son. Oh, no, nah, don't worry. Better luck next time, mate. See, he's the only one that'll let it get away with stuff. It's all right. He's doing his best. He's only 16. You know, you got to be nice to those youngsters. It's very difficult for them in this day and age. Okay. So not only does Football Manager want to annoy me just by having terrible goalkeepers, but they also feel the need to show me an end highlight that literally will mean nothing. Because you can tell because uh, cause we saw a stoppage in play. So, it's really just trying to rub it in now, isn't it? Well, I can't think of a better place to end the episode than that. Well, obviously, I'm going to end the episode there. I only ever play two games, and, you know, we've played our two games, and it's disappointing. We're ending the the episode higher in the table than we were previously, but everyone else needs to play their game, so we are definitely going to be moving down the table. And for once, I have to say... It's deserved. We are terrible. This team is shocking. I, uh, I challenge anyone to replicate Ranieri with this 11. And the annoying thing, you know, I tell you what, the annoying thing is on paper, these guys are all right. There are some players in here that I feel like I could do something with. But it's just like, players like Rolf, like, don't get me wrong, he's good in so many areas, but then he's got like, this massive strip of nines and sevens. Oh, this video is long enough as it is. You guys don't need to hear me whinging and moaning anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new and new around here for daily football manager videos. That is where we're going to end it so that you guys don't have to deal with me whinging and moaning anymore. I will see you all later.